So if you're watching this demonstration, I'm going to show you how to make your poster digitally. So in the space where it said title, I'm going to write my artist's name, David Hockney. And in the subtitle, I'm going to write the styles that he was associated with. So his work can be described as cubist, so cubism. He's known for pop art. And the reason why I'm putting so many is because throughout his career, his style kind of transformed. It changed a lot. And modern art. So this is my title, my subtitle, and if I click this little arrow box, I can move my subtitle around. And remember, this is an information poster. Your most important information that you want your viewer to learn is the name of your artist. And then I have my fun facts on the right. And I have my portrait of my artist here. And you had to have a minimum of three of two artworks. I have three here. I'm going to show you how to adjust the sizes and everything so it's nice and neat and spacing is all set up. So my first work is Large Interior, Los Angeles, 1988. I have the year in parentheses. I just took this, dragged it, and dropped it into my desktop. I go back to Sketchpad, and I can drag this image to my poster. And I'm trying to make the spacing as neat as possible. I'm trying not to distort the image as much as possible. And I want spacing to be even on my right and left, and I can go ahead and adjust the title and year of the artwork according. I put the title of the artwork in italics. Next artwork is one from this website. So the artist's website does not allow you to copy and paste. So I just took a screenshot. If you have a Mac, it's Command Shift 4, and you can take a screenshot and it'll end up on your desktop. So the next one is a bigger splash and this painting was made in 1967. I'm gonna go ahead and adjust this as well. And notice when you're adjusting your images, these lines pop up on the along the edges of whatever image you're adjusting. And that just helps you space more accurately. Next is Nichols Canyon, 1980. And these are my three favorite pieces of artwork by David Hockney. He's probably one of my favorite artists and I'm super inspired by all of the colors he used, his composition, his subject matter, right? His interiors and landscapes, I'm all about that. I love David Hockney. Okay, so I have my artworks all set up, and next I'm going to adjust my fun facts. So I want the, the font and the text to be at the same size. I'm going to look at fun fact number three. He was born in, on July 9th, ooh, it's coming up, 1937. He's still alive, he's 82 years old. And notice the more text that you have, the smaller the font becomes. And I want it to be around the same size. So I'm just going to scooch down the arrows and it makes the, the font a little smaller. Or the text, I should say, a little smaller. And I can make this one bigger. The artwork is on view at the Museum of Modern Art, also known as OMA in New York City. And then my next, my last fun fact is, are the artists that he's influenced by. He was influenced by Henry Matisse. Mom of Finland and my last is Julian Trevelyan. Julian Trevelyan. 
Okay, so my poster is complete with the title, the style. I have three examples of the work, complete with title and year. Uh, this is optional, portrait of the artist, fun facts. You have to have at least three, and I have five. So I want to save my work, export, download, and I'd rather have a JPEG. Scale, download. And then there's my work as a JPEG.